just a general. Do we know yeah, you Brutalizer. What is this? What? Brutalizer. demands an apology for Bush's remark about American boys dying in chains. I thought Mr. Bush did just fine last night. Hey. Including that remark, sir? He did great. How did Mrs. Ferraro do? <laughs> be fair, he raised the issue against our good president, and the president has made his medical report public. The United States Senate and as vice president, and no one can remember him revealing he has blood pressure problems before. Has a The train idea came from President Eisenhower, and let me say this, tax cuts is old-fashioned to Walter Mondale. The free enterprise system Congress that you have met already here and please send them back in this election. We need them in Washington. And all of you, ladies and gentlemen, it's great to be in Ohio again and especially good to be in Dayton. deficit is the central issue. We say growth is the central issue.
We want to simplify the entire tax system so we can bring yours and everybody's income tax rates further down, not up.
following the same route he took 36 years and one day ago. He was the last Democrat that I voted for. Indeed, I campaigned for him in 1948. <laughs> the suffering of America, the deep and painful recession, and the outrageous and frightening inflation, these things didn't start by accidental ignition. They controlled the Congress. They gave us five. In little more than a year, five anti-inflation plans, five different economic plans. And with them, they managed to give us the worst four-year record of inflation in nearly 40 years. Thing he calls real interest rates. Well, people don't pay interest rates based on some academic smokescreen or foggy economic theory. What they know is that when Jerry Ford left office, car loans were hard to get and expensive. The auto and the home building industries were brought to their knees. But it's come to Ohio to talk about jobs that my opponent still supports. This philosophy can be summed up in four sentences. If it's income, tax it. If it's revenue, spend it. We promise everybody everything. But of course, there is a predictable answer by one who makes so many promises. His answer The old Mondale sponsored National Bible Week in the United States Senate. I think that's fine. The new Walter Mondale says there's too much religion in politics. The old Mondale called the space shuttle the hope and opportunity that we were promised and found when we were young that had been left to us by our parents. between himself 
and his opponent. And my friends, that's just what we're going to do today. Yeah. 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 The deep and painful recession and the outrageous and frightening inflation. These things didn't start by accidental ignition and his liberal friends who controlled the Congress. Yeah. They gave us five, count them, just in a little more than a year. As everything was going to pot, they gave us five different anti-inflation plans in 1980. And after all this economic punishment, our opponents blame you because you live too much. It's just that they have an awfully good forgetter here. One of the things they like most to forget is the misery index. Now, some of you young people are too young to remember that, but in the 1976 campaign, eight years ago, they figured out again, they added up the rate of inflation and the rate of unemployment, and the total was the misery index. And at that time, in 76, it was 12.6. And they declared that the incumbent, Jerry Ford, had no right to seek re-election with that kind of a misery index. Well, four years later, along came the 1980 campaign. They never mentioned the misery index. And I don't think my opponent will mention it. My opponent has done a very good job of slipping, sliding, and ducking away from his record. But here in Ohio, during the primaries, Senator Gary Hart, got his message through by Walter Mondale and has come to Ohio to talk about jobs, but Carter Mondale watched helpless as 180,000 Ohio jobs disappeared in the period between 1976 and 1980. As soon as we get the economy on a sound ground as well, I would like to see the total repeal of index, just because you've gotten the cost of living pay raise. And under the Mondale plan, here's what would happen with families struggling on debt. For families making $30,000 a year, the tax would take over $500 more in 89, nearly $900 a year more if someone was making $40,000. These assume a mod. Now we're told since Sunday night that he misspoke, that he actually meant to just say the opposite. But on several occasions, on several occasions since 1982, he has expressly proclaimed that he opposed it privately, very privately. <laughs> the old Mondale sponsored. Yay! Well, that, that's the difference between us. We see America's best day ahead. We see ourselves in a springtime of hope, ready to fire up our courage and determination to reach high and achieve. <laughs> Because you know, they're what this campaign and this election is all about. That's right. That's right. That's right. Those of us. Yes. Four more years. Four more years. All right. And because of that, I'll give you a promise of something that'll take place. Well, last night. What do you think about that? I don't know anything about it, and I'd be inclined not to believe it. I'd be inclined not to believe it. I'm gonna start again.